do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends initially we have did various numericals which was based on ideal gas equation with of different data and of different uh, formula by using some manipulation now we are going to do another numerical with of different question so let us do it So friends, this is a numerical which is based on ideal gas equation. So first of all, let us see what is the question that are been asking to us. So therefore, it says that we have 22.4 dm cube uh, tank, which contains uh, 28 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg of nitrogen gas and uh, 22 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg of carbon dioxide gas at 273 kelvin. So calculate the pressure in the tank. So this is what we. Uh, they are asking about we have to calculate the pressure in the tank and the the both are the both gas are been applicable here that is for carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas this is basically present in the gaseous state so the atomic mass is also been given to us for nitrogen for carbon and for oxygen so the first thing that we are we are going to do is we are going to extract the data so that it will be very much easy to understand this numerical and it would lead us to uh, go in a very right direction uh, to get a proper answer so let us do it this by extracting the data so the first thing is in the given data they have given us uh, basically uh, the volume which is v which is 22.4 dm cube but for a better convenience what i am trying to convert it as i will convert this into 24 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube so this is the value of v that we have got and the next thing is uh, they have uh, given us the temperature so i am writing the temperature here itself it is been given as 273 kelvin so this is the temperature that they have been mentioned to us and uh, the thing is we have to calculate the pressure so the first thing in this case is uh, which value of r we will we are going to substitute here because the n that is the number of moles it will be the same it, uh, it won't change but the r has the value which changes according to the condition so in this case uh, because uh, as soon as i have converted into meter cube and i know that uh, and we know that suppose if uh, we are converting into meter cube this is only possible uh, when we are taking the value of r as 8.314 because we did a lecture on that also uh, that is the gas constant values and their units so in this uh, case we have studied that the value of r will be basically 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin so this is what and this joule is nothing but newton meter and again newton meter is something which is related to meter as well as the volume which is also it is been related to meter but meter cube so that's the reason we are taking r as 8.314 the value of r would be given to uh, you suppose in uh, in exam but suppose if it is not given to you so you can make this thing as you have studied in your previous lecture and you could use this data to solve the numerical so it is very much easy and i hope you have understood this concept very clearly so now uh, let us find out that uh, uh, we have mentioned here p t r v but where is the value of n yes this value of n we have to calculate but the uh, number of moles of gas are not only for one in this case there are two gases so we have to calculate the number of moles of uh, gas for the both separately and then we have to add it because the both are being present in the same tank and having and occupying the same volume that is 22.4 dm cube so the first of all thing that is we are now going to calculate the number of moles for pc nitrogen gas that is n is represented by the number of moles which is nothing but weight divided by molecular weight and this is weight of n2 that is weight of nitrogen divided by molecular weight of nitrogen so the weight of nitrogen which is given to us as 28 into 10 raised to uh, minus 3 kg so this kg should be converted into gram because the molecular weight has a unit of gram per mole we usually take in gram per mole so the thing is here we have to convert this thing into uh, gram so as i know that 10 raised to minus 3 is somewhere uh, will cancel out the kilo which is having a unit of 10 raised to 3 so the both will cancel out each other so in this case the both will cancel out each other 
divided by the molecular weight of nitrogen the nitrogen has uh, the atomic mass one nitrogen uh, one atom of the nitrogen has an atomic mass of 14 and thereof we are talking about n2 basically 14 plus 14 it makes of 28 so therefore 28 gram per mole is the molar mass of the nitrogen gas so therefore 20 divided by 28 it is nothing but one so therefore the number of moles of nitrogen gas is nothing but one that we have got but we have to calculate the number of moles of uh, the uh, carbon dioxide also so let us calculate that also so the number of moles of carbon dioxide i'm writing here as i know that it is weight divided by molecular weight i'm mentioning it as co2 that is so that we won't get confused so the weight of carbon dioxide which is given to us is basically uh, 22 into 10 raised to minus 3 so therefore 22 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg divided by the molecular weight of carbon dioxide in this case we could easily calculate the molecular weight of carbon dioxide as because the atomic mass of uh, uh, carbon is been given 12 and that of oxygen is given 13 but in carbon dioxide basically I could say that is uh, the carbon which has the atomic mass of 12 plus there are two oxygen atoms so therefore basically 16 plus 16 and this would be in gram per mole so I could easily assume because in this case also as 10 raised to minus 3 and kilos are being given so therefore they both will cancel out each other the only thing that will be remaining is 22 and if I sum up all this thing so I will get 44 so this will be and gram and gram will cancel out each other and this will be the moles that we have so this is nothing but 0 0.5 so the number of moles of carbon dioxide is basically 0 0.5 moles but the number of moles are being separated that is for uh, carbon dioxide and for nitrogen gas but overall the number of molecules that are present in the tank will be the summation of these two gases basically so therefore i could write it as nt that is the total number of moles is because of the number of moles of nitrogen plus the number of moles of carbon dioxide so the number of moles of nitrogen was found to be 1 while that of the carbon dioxide which is found to be 0 0.5 so if i add these two things i will get 1.5 as the number of moles so now it is a very much easy task to calculate so according to ideal gas equation now i am substituting it so therefore pv is equals to nrt in this case uh, the pressure that we have uh, find out in the data which was found to be uh, which is what we have to uh, calculate so p is equals to basically nrt divided by v so this is the formula that we have to apply and so let us do this thing so basically we have p is equals to nrt divided by v just for an instance so that you should not uh, get uh, confused that that was in minus sign so uh, the number of moles that we have calculated or the final number of moles uh, which was found to be basically 1.5 while in this case the value of r should be taken as 8.314 yes 8.314 into the temperature that uh, they have provided us or uh, where we have written in our given data which was found to be 273 and the whole divided by the volume the volume is also being provided to us yes but we should not get confused that the volume which they have provided is in dm cube but we have to write in cubic meters because of that only we have got the value of r or we are stating the value of r as 8.314 joules per um, moles per kelvin so now in this case the value of volume is basically 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 cubic meter so now let us solve this thing and let us study what is the answer so the answer that we have got is basically 151990 basically this is something that we have got uh, and we are writing in uh, pressure uh, that is uh, we have all taken the value of rs joules per uh, mole per kelvin so basically this is nothing but related to pascal that is newton per meter square so this is the value of p that we have got or we could arrange in this manner also that we have got something around uh, we could assume that 1.5 1 into 10 raised to 5 uh, pascal because uh, usually we denote uh, 
760 mm HD uh, or one atmosphere into basically somewhere 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square that is Pascal. Even this is a correct answer. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and all kind of numerals that we have did based on uh, idle gas equation only. And yes, the more factor, the most important factor is yes, the gas constant. So keep it that in your mind. And yes, try to solve more and more numericals. Share this video with the friends. And yes, don't forget to subscribe. Ikeda channel. Thank you so much.